Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and today I want to show you how to speed up a test that registers a new user through the page UI and then logs that user in. In my example, the user goes to the, you know, visits the page, finds the sign up form, clicks create an account, submits the form after entering the username and the password. So what does the page do on submission? We can look at the network tab and we can see this register call. This is what the page does when you submit the page with that form that creates a new user or sends a new user. So this register, right, points at URL slash register. It uses method pause. And what does it do? It needs the cookie so that the session associated with a new user and the password and the password. So we can perform the same thing by removing all this and saying sci request. Again, our parameters are, well, method was post, right? That's what we saw. URL, it was register. Now that was a form and we need username and password. Once we do that, this is a body of request. Now we can visit the page and log in through UI for now. Let's see this works. Perfect. So we create a user and can log in through the UI. And notice that I'm actually deleting all the users before every test. So that's why I can reuse the same username and the password. Now, once we visit the page, we have to log in. What does the login look like? Again, let's look at the network tab. Notice it's the same form submission. Only instead of slash register, it goes to slash login. And we're submitting the form just like we do right here. So let's log in by calling the Sci request command. And if we do everything correctly, then if we visit slash rooms, then we should be able to get to that URL because we are authenticated. Perfect. Now, here's the thing. Why do we need this visit in between? Register and login, they set the response cookies and request cookies as necessary. So this site visit just to create a session cookie is absolutely superficial. We can remove it. Perfect. Work the same way. And notice how much faster it is. 0.7 versus 2 seconds. We can time this, I mean, approximately. It's not like we're running hundreds of experiments and taking the average. But here's how we would time this. We would start timing probably right here before we make the first request. We probably finish timing after we finish the visit. All right. So we'll say then. And we'll say end. And we can say elapsed. And let's log it. And I like using a little bit of markdown to put it in both. Perfect. Notice how fast we can register and log in the user.